With all the calls to boycott international brands like Nike and H&M over their stance on human rights abuses in Xinjiang, we decided to come out to a shopping area in Beijing to talk to customers and find out what's going on. This H&M store had very few customers. The Swedish company has become the primary target of Chinese outrage after a past statement surfaced online saying it was deeply concerned about reports of alleged forced labor for some products from China's far west Xinjiang region. Human rights groups have posted videos like this, which they say show Muslim Uyghurs from Xinjiang working in internment camps what the Chinese government calls training centers, and what U.S. officials say could be the largest detention of an ethnic religious minority group since World War II. A religious minority enslaved addressing the complicity of U.S. companies in Uyghur forced labor. Advocates for greater scrutiny of China's treatment of the Uyghurs and the U.S. supply chain have been sanctioned by Beijing, which Washington argues is now behind the boycotts of foreign brands. H&M clothing is now banished from shopping sites and maps. A staffer at the Nike store told us business is down and they're worried about their job. We spoke to a number of customers, but because the topic is so politically sensitive, we couldn't get anyone on camera. Off camera, responses were mixed. Many said they felt pressure not to buy the targeted brands and would buy Chinese or other alternatives. But Nike, which is popular in China, appears to have its loyal fans. People told us they would delay purchases or buy online to avoid being spotted in the shop. What was most apparent in my conversations is how uninformed many are about the controversy at all. There isn't open discussion here about the government's policies for Xinjiang, so most thought foreign companies were simply refusing to use Chinese products. This reflects how public opinion is formed here in what's a controlled information environment. For the news, I'm Eunice Yoon in Beijing. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.